Hello Luis, this is Sven from Union Repair and uh, I saw the review on the YouTube that you got a review for the, our, our thermal imager and, and I appreciate that the way you give the review in a very honest way and this, this is also the reason why I sent the thermal imager to you and I didn't even, even make a note to you to just see the good part of the thermal imager and I know that it's going to be very risky to send this thermal image to you because I know that you are the guy that's going to say in a very honest way and I'm kind of 80% sure that you are going to say this thermal image is like not, not worth money or useless and uh, in, some, in some way that I agree with you the, your, your points on this thermal image but there is also some very most important function you are kind of ignored and I want to, to, to give us a, another chance to, to say something the positive side of the thermal imager and I, I'd like to invite our technician to show you how, how this most important function key here how it works Okay, now let's 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 uh, show this is the interface of the software, and the reason why I said you you ignored one of the most function button here is this button. It just looks like a picture. It just looks like a picture, and and I. I think it's not your problem to ignore this this function button because the manufacturer they translate everything from Chinese to English but they forgot to translate this most important key here to English and that's why you are kind of to you it's just like a picture just like a Chinese character it's a picture so so why you click this button and this this button in China literally it means second or one click so it means you just by one second or one click you find out the pro problematic of the point the problematic point of the motherboard so this is how you this is what you uh, look in firstly of this motherboard and now I, I'd like to ask our technicians to show you how it works <laughs> Okay, so you need to uh, put this, the, this PCB here and you can see the, the highest temperature here and this is like uh, 78 and fun okay it's like 100 degrees something so so this this part of the PCB is like is a higher temperature so so the problem the, the, the problematic uh, point of this PCB must be this side so let's look into this side and you can see this is a big hot point and in, in the video, in the review that you think you can just easily to find out this big heat point by leap or by your like uh, finger touch. But you can click this button. Okay, so you can see there is a automatic temperature range. There's a very big one. Just now you can see a very big one. And this whole big part is with the with the hot temperature but by click this one click button it will be fast to locate locate the the problematic temperature range so the problem must be at this this range so you can try to adjust the, the range of this hot point neutralizer okay you can see not a lot okay so you can see there is a tiny small hot point here and then you can put the okay. 
so you can locate the, the the problematic point here and you can you can click this space space key this space key is for uh, switch the visible light and the infrared light okay so you can find this the this this like tiny IC is the the, the pro the problem point so this is a electric leakage problem here so you can like very fast to find out the, uh, the problem and I'm sorry that we have just one we have just one uh, broken motherboard here and uh, uh, but I want to show you some more cases how this this thermal imager works so so I find out one video we made several weeks ago and I want to show you on this this video we made like weeks ago how it works on another case <coughs> okay th this video we made uh, several weeks ago okay this this is another this is another pro problematic PCB okay. so let's pause here so you can see that in this video in this video uh, it's different from the another one okay you can see why why you you didn't see the the PCB yeah you didn't see the PCB on the video but you can see the PCB from another another screen that's because you can change the the percentage of you can change the percentage of this part and this part is the percentage of the the visible light to the infrared light and in this case we change the the percentage to zero it means you cannot see the you cannot see the visible light you can only see the the infrared light so so let's keep going <coughs> now you can find the hot point from the software and I'm sure that you can find the hot point by by leap or by by finger and you you may guess that the problem must be this part this area but it can be some other problem so you can try to adjust the adjust the, the temperature range here to f try to find if there are some other hot point nearby it can the problem might be the the the, the small IC is nearby it not not the problem of the, this power IC it can be other IC uh, have the problem to cause this this hot issue so so now we we can find there is another uh, so we can find another small point here and this is the this point is the real uh, exact problematic point here so you can you can locate this this tiny point and you can find out the problematic IC here and I think uh, today we have just only two cases here to show you how this this uh, PCB troubleshoot thermal imager here, and I hope, I hope you understand uh, how it works with this function, function button, the one click function button, and you can close, you can close this automatic temperature range to play with the, 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 the different temperature range, and I, I hope you can spend another like half an hour to play with this thermal imager, and I hope. You you got a better image of this thermal imager, and and I, I think that's all for that's all for the for the explain explanation from our side from the manufacturer side. Uh, okay, I think I think that's all for for today. And what I want to say at last is that I wish you and uh, all the audience. Uh, Merry Christmas and see you. Bye.